So far, we've had every angle on this Jadon Sancho situation from Borussia Dortmund and their games from Manchester United and their games and from Germany and from England. So maybe it's about time we hear from Jadon Sancho himself. He spoke publicly for the first time this week since this transfer saga begun. I'm going to cover all of his quotes in this video, the latest from Fabrizio Romano and all the latest from Germany, Dortmund and United and England. So make sure you subscribe if you're new and share this if you're watching it on Facebook. But let's bring you bang up to date with all the latest on this Sancho situation. And again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just reporting. And where better to begin than Fabrizio Romano? He was speaking on the Save the Ball podcast with Jan Eger Fjortoft, hopefully didn't crucify his name, and Christian Falk from Field. Those three have been sort of leading with the updates on Sancho. And this is what Fabrizio had to say on Sancho. And there's a really interesting nitbit that I want to lead with from this. And also a quick shout out to United Report for their excellent reporting throughout this, keeping everybody up to date from all the different sources. Fair play. Well done to you guys. And if you want to listen to the Save the Ball podcast, which I would encourage you to do, it's very insightful. Just type it into Google. So looking at what Fabrizio had to say, he said the saga's not over. United is still working on the deal. He's saying that United still want to sign him. I'm convinced we can do it. Uh, talking about Sancho's agreement being complete in terms of his contract and commission. That Sancho's still United's main target. But the main nit bit I want to take from this is Fabrizio saying that Sancho has to do something if he wants to leave Borussia Dortmund. Not necessarily going on strike, but asking to leave or finding a way. So Fabrizio doubling down on everything he said previously. His stance hasn't changed. The agreement's done. The contract is done. It's all down to United and Dortmund. But that hasn't changed either. But it's the interesting part that he says there about the fact that Sancho now has to do something. And Jan agrees with him. He's pointing out that Dortmund have said he will stay. So if Sancho wants to put it to rest, he can do that in a public statement. And it really feels in the last couple of days like the eyes have moved away from Dortmund and United. You know, Dortmund have laid their cards on the table and so have United. We don't want to pay what Dortmund want. Dortmund are refusing to sell for less than 120. So all eyes are on Jadon Sancho. And Dortmund, the smart bastards, of course they know this. If you look at Paul Hurst from the Times in the UK, he's reporting that Sancho is under pressure from Dortmund to publicly say he will be at the club next season. Support Jadon Sancho is under pressure from every single angle. And I want to say at this point, if I was Jadon Sancho, I'd be a little bit pissed off. I'd be thinking, why can't United and Dortmund just sort it out between yourselves? I'm the player. Why do I have to get involved in the negotiations? But it almost seems like that's the next logical step. And after Dortmund's pre-season friendly this week, Jadon Sancho spoke and gave an interview to BBB TV. And this is what he had to say. He said, I love playing with this lot. It is a special bunch and we've got some special young players coming up. I'm really happy to share the pitch with them and guide them. I was once in their shoes playing with the seniors and I'm happy for them. Obviously, Jude Bellingham making his debut after joining from Birmingham City and not going to United. He played fantastic. Erling Haaland, he's a little bit younger as well. Sancho was that kid at some point and now he's developed into one of the hottest young players in the world. So he'd be a great mentor for those players. But Sancho, they're just focusing on the team and the players not saying anything about his future, which is what you expect from him. But what could Sancho do next? That is the interesting thing and the point that I think will drive the news for the next few days at least. Because if he wants to do nothing, he can stay silent. A bit like what Paul Pogba does. Well, not all the time. But he can stay silent and let the clubs do the talking. If he wants to quash the rumours and help Borussia Dortmund, he'll say publicly that he will be at the club next season. That takes power away from United. But if he really wants that transfer to United... He can come out and do a few things to help push that transfer through. First thing he could do is put in a transfer request. That would take power away from Borussia Dortmund. It would show that Sancho wants to move to United. He would lose face with Dortmund supporters for doing that. And Dortmund would gain face back because, look, we've tried everything. But would he really do that to a club which gave him the platform that made him the player he is today? I'm not so sure. He could also go on strike, not turn up to training not do interviews, but again, similar repercussions to putting in a transfer request. He'd lose face with the club and with the supporters. But there has been precedent at Dortmund before, and it's all around Usman Dembele and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Now, Dembele, he actually went on strike to force his move to Barcelona. And interestingly enough, the intermediary involved in this deal between United and Dortmund 
is the same intermediary that was involved in Dembele to Barcelona. So maybe he's having whispers in his ear to do the exact same thing. And if you look at Aubameyang, he didn't go on strike as such, but he didn't turn up to meetings. He started acting unprofessional to force a transfer. So much so that Dortmund released a bit of a statement saying, look, you're gonna, anybody else who tries this is not going to work. But it worked with Aubameyang. It worked with Dembele. So there's precedent there that players get so pissed off with Dortmund's stance and blocking the move that they feel they have to do something. And maybe it's getting towards that stage with Sancho. And if he really wants this transfer, like Fabrizio Romano has said all along, that Sancho wants to play for United, the terms have already been agreed, then Sancho maybe... He's got to do something next. Would it be a transfer request? Would it be going on strike? Would it be simply talking to Dortmund behind the scenes rather than going with a public transfer request? I don't know. There's a variety of things he could do. But if he really did want to push this transfer through, he could do something. That's for sure. Now, if you remember, I actually said a long time ago, right towards the start of this, this situation, it felt like Sancho would have to play a role in it. Simply because I know what Dortmund are like as a selling club. I know what United are like as a buying club. And the same things are happening again. And with two clubs who seem to value the importance of winning the transfer battle in the media, in the public eye, neither is going to be willing to compromise. So maybe Sancho is going to be the party, the main... It's all about... This whole thing is about Sancho. So maybe he's going to be the the loosener, the way that this transfer is going to move forward. I don't know whether he'd do a transfer request. As I said, Dortmund signed him from City and gave him this platform that's, that's made him into such, not made him, but enabled him to be such a good player now. I don't think he'd want to slap Dortmund in the face by handing in a transfer request. But if they're slapping him in the face and blocking a move that he truly wants, there has to come a, a tipping point where something happens. And maybe that's happening now, because as I said, Dortmund's cards are all on the table. Michael Zork saying, Sancho is staying. That is final. They want 120 million. If that comes in, they can say, look, we, we promised Sancho that he could leave if an offer of 120 million euros came in. They wouldn't lose face for that. United refusing to pay 120 million because we're stingy old gits. We've got the money, but we just don't want to pay it. And if neither of those two things are going to change, the only thing that could change it maybe is Sancho and a transfer request or a strike or putting pressure on Dortmund. What do you think about all this? I brought you the latest updates from Fabrizio, Sancho speaking himself. As I said, don't shoot the messenger. This is how this transfer is, is panning out and I'm covering it for you. So I hope it helps. I hope it helps you understand, makes you think about what maybe Sancho could do next. I'm interested, as always, to know what you think about this. Let me know in the comments below. As I said before, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And make sure you share if you're watching this on Facebook still. Until next time, another Centre update. Take it easy.